Welcome to Roll for Crypt, where we try to play as competitive as possible, but we probably forgot to roll for Crypt. I'm Lee. And I'm Cameron. On this week's episode, we decided to, to go for a theme. Polymorph theme. Yeah, so we're all playing polymorph decks. Uh, gonna be really explosive, really fast paced. Yeah, see who comes out on top. Jared wanted us to do this. Roll it. This week I'm playing Gavi uh, Ness Warden. Saw this list on Moxfield and I like it a lot because it's not one of your like main polymorph lists. Um, and Cam said it stinks, which gives me all the more reason to play it so I can beat him with it. Um, but pretty much Gavi, cast Gavi, uh, used her ability, um, or when I draw a card, use her ability to make a creature. And then this one's a little different because I'm running both Thassa's Oracle and Leveler. So I don't actually have polymorph in here. Um, but the polymorph effects that take two creatures off the battlefield and replace them with two for Thassa's Oracle and Muffler. So this week I am playing Tevish Sot Thrasios. I call this deck the super friendly, nauseating horror. Really the, um, the reason why is I'm playing a bunch of Planeswalkers. I'm on Adnaz and this is a, a polymorph deck where I'm trying to get out Holebreaker Horror and try to win the game from there. I do have some backup spice. Um, there's Kazmina Enigma Sage. Hopefully um, if Tevish has been out there long enough. I can use the minus eight to cast a Peer into the Abyss from my library for free. Also backup win cons like Isochron with uh, Dramatic Reversal. So this week I brought back one of my favorites, um, Urza, Lord High Artificer. Um, but the guys have been kind of telling me I should make it a poly list. So pretty much basic, took out Thassa, Spellseeker, all that good stuff and put in Polymorph and um, just ways to win through that, you know. Tide Sprout, Spout, Tide, the Tyrant one, and then the, the new one, the whole break horror thing. See how it does? <laughs> hey guys, Little Allen here. This week's episode, I'm playing Shorakai, the Genesis engine. This is the brand new one spoiled from the pre-con. Uh, fantastic Isocon uh, Scepter combo. Basically just keep untapping them, draw my deck, and win um, through a number of ways, like an infinitely big uh, Blue Sun Zenith or Capsize, just bounce everybody's spells. Uh, this is actually a Polycracken list, so I get Hole Breaker out as quick as possible and hopefully bounce some stuff and win from there. I am going to play a Bayou. Yeah, I'll pass turn. I'll play a Training Center. Attack Training Center for a Soul Ring. I'll pass there. Play a Mox Diamond. If that enters, I'm gonna pitch a Snow Covered Island. So let's play a Howard Fountain Untapped. I'll take two. And let's pay one for just a simple Remora. And I will pass turn. Hmm. I should have fucking played the Chrome Mox. <laughs> <laughs> Draw. Coolest islands known to man. Pass turn. Yeah, I'll shock in a breeding pool. Tap two. I'm gonna play Thrasios. Pass turn. Um, in step, I'm gonna pay one to brainstorm. I don't know, I think it was the first time we've ever uh, not we paid for a Mystic Remora. <laughs> Actually worked out pretty good. <laughs> All right, Remora trigger. I will pay for it. So let me get a counter, play this Polluted Delta. I'll pass turn. Untap nothing. Drop Monoma. Come on, let's make him pay fucking like three, four, five mana and get nothing. Pass turn. I love it. Untap. Drop turn. No cool if I just feed him one card. Of course. Let's make him pay three or four for nothing. It's two mana for one card. That's you know, kind of shitty. Yeah, let me see. I think I'm just kind of cool with going to combat. I'm going to swing one at Allen. I'm going to pass there. All right. Hey, you're in, so I'm going to crack my fetch. Who the fuck are we right now, dude? We learned. I know he's fucking about to cast a blood moon, though, so. Y'all would not let me resolve a blood moon anyway. Right. All right, untap. Draw. Mana Confluence, and then I will tap five, cast my commander. Take one from Confluence. Uh, turn. In step, I'm gonna pay one <laughs> for an Enlightened Tutor. He just wants us to fucking counter so he can draw a card. Yeah, we have not given him any cards. Fist bumps all around. This is pretty pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Literally, I think this is the first time ever in the history of I'm kinda game. losing on that end though here. <laughs> I'm taking a hit right here. Pass, not cast anything they can pass. I'm like, fuck, I got it, I got it. Yeah, because if you if you start casting spells, bro, I'll, trust me, this whole hand's coming yeah, down, we're gonna bro. Start, we're gonna start casting. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you guys can't do shit. Humility. Um, untap, upkeep, remora. I'm actually gonna let it die. That was worthless, guys. 
Hell yeah. So how many cards did Alan draw off of this Mr. Kamara? Not a single fucking one, bro. Dude, that's the first time in the history of first the First time we've ever continuously not paid for it. I think I deserve the high five. I'd say so. Good job, dude. That was much better than that the first good high five. Shit. <laughs> We're fucking yeah. good high fives. We're good at magic and Mr. Gamora, you know, stuff and high fives. Go. Draw for turn. Playing Urza Saga. Crack the blue to Delta. Go get my Tundra. Uh, yeah, let's just play Sedge Humility. It's honestly kind of good to hold hold him off of. I'm all right, I'm say I'm all right with it. Yeah, I'm a pass priority. You know who Humility is not good for though? Us three when he casts Tevish Sock. Untap nothing, draw, drop another island, and we'll drop a welding jar. Alright, I have got to untap. Draw for turn. Shotgun Overgrown Tomb. Play a Chrome Mox. Exiling a Brainstorm. Tap five. Play Tevish. It'll just be a good point to come back to this when Cam is like, okay, here we go. Ultimate <laughs> Tevish. <laughs> Alright, Tevish enters the battlefield. I can do like a flashback. Uh, he's gonna go to four. I am gonna plus two him. He's gonna go to six. Combat, swing one at Alan. Let's go to combat. Swing one at Lee. Tap Steam Vents, Soul Ring. Can I start six there? Yeah, pass priority. Four's getting a little hairy now. Oh, but you're gonna counter this, but you weren't gonna counter <laughs> the humility? I'm good there. Pass. One tab, no upkeep. Let me move my cards up so Jared doesn't yell at me. Play land. Uh, this goes up to two. I'm gonna pay four. Attempt to cast my commander. You may draw a card. That's only one. If Shorkai is good, I will pass the turn. I'll drop an island. I'm gonna tap three, take one. I'm gonna cast an intuition. I will attempt to mana drain it. Can I draw a card? I will pay the one extra for you not to draw the card. All right, I will go to my turn, untap, plus one Tevish. She's gonna go to seven. Sack a throw, draw two. I'm gonna go ahead and play a waterlogged grove. All right, so tap in for blue, blue, blue to take two damage from underground river waterlogged grove. Mm -hmm. And a colorless. I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna pay so you cannot draw. So he has four. I'm gonna tick up. He's gonna go to five. Target player mills two cards. Gonna choose Alan. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. And then I draw a card. Yeah, pass turn. Play a City of Brass. I'll pay one, take one, try to cast a Mystic Cremora. Tap a white here, uh, try to cast a Silence. I will activate Short Guy in response to that. Create a Pikachu pilot. And in response to that, I'm gonna pay one. I'm going to Mystical, try Mystical Tutor. I have no mana, you may draw. So I will go search my library for an instant or sorcery card. Reveal that card. Right, so I'm gonna get Cyclonic Rift. Go on top. Yeah, and I'll, I'll pass priority. Um, Soul Ring for two. Cast a Talisman of Conviction. Mm -hmm. Pay three here, take one. Cast a Narset. And I'm gonna pay one, take one. Cast a Brain Inquiry. Mm. Well, my Mystical Dude looks like shit now. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna tap green. Um, I'm gonna channel the Seiju. It's gonna cost one less because I control a legendary creature. I'm gonna destroy Rhystic Study. So Brain and Crew resolves. We draw one and discard three. At random. Blood Moon, <laughs> Fluster Storm, Southern Tide. Alchemist Retrieval, Merchant Scroll, Copy Artifact. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, discard Cyclonic Rift, Scalding Tarn. <laughs> Fucking wrap it up. All right, I'm gonna discard Dramatic Reversal, nice. Orsa Will. Mm -hmm and Noxious Revival. All right, I'm good there then, pass. Urza Trigger, uh, I'm going to float one colorless mana. Besides, I'm going to search for an artifact for zero or one. Not gonna lie, having that Besage in my hand felt so fucking good. <laughs> oh, you can't cast anything right now. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna have a sick board. I was gonna draw cards, y'all weren't. I'm gonna create. I have one colorless floating. I'm not played at my land, which will be a Scalding Tarn. I will crack it. Mystic Sanctuary. I have three islands in play, so I'll just have to pass the turn. One card in hand. Untap. Draw. 
So I'll get this three mm-hmm. mana. I will drop an island. I don't fucking play magic. <laughs> <laughs> relatable, man. Just got be a straight up guy. I just time. just got Elden Ring. Like I should just be home playing Elden Ring. <laughs> Cam was like, this game's gonna end in fucking three turns. This is gonna be so quick, bro. We played 30 minutes in like, bro, we're, we're not even close to winning. Oh, I'll, you maybe aren't. <laughs> if you didn't fucking get rid of my dramatic reversal of fucking Force of Will. We'll just cast Ursa. Why are you paying extra one? I, I play like Heuristic Study. Uh, okay, so untap a land is what he's saying. I still need two blue for Urza, you jerk off. Oh yeah, true, he does. Oh, okay. Dang, we thought we, 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 thought we, were, we thought we were so smart. Yeah, I thought you guys were fucking geniuses. <laughs> I, thought, I was trying to back Jared up, but. Yeah, man, fucking untap a blue. All right, you Fucking go. All right. Untap. I will draw for turn. Even your fucking stacks pieces. Dude, I, no, no, that's not a stacks. Stacks player? <laughs> stacks player? Mm-hmm. Most of the time, stacks player. Sometimes, stacks player. This game's gonna take 30 minutes, but I'm gonna play with all good days. And... I love just sitting here, can't play spells, can't draw cards. Yeah, the Narset's fucking a problem. All right, first things first. I'm gonna go to combat. Swinging my Thrall and Thrasios at Narset. Narset will take two. All right, I'm gonna plus Ooh. two Tevish. All right. I'm gonna apologize for it, but I'm gonna cast a demonic tutor you can draw. Yippee! Yeah, and then I'm gonna pass turn. Okay, mm. on tap. First order of business, pay for the fish. So I'll play Wood of Foothills and crack it. I like a plateau, please. And I see Narset's life coming to an end here soon, so I'm going to tick her down. I'm gonna get that. Windfall, swords, Verity Circle, Mana Drain. Uh, imposter Mac. Recurring Insight and Tide Sprout Tyrant. Uh, nurturing Peatland, Fabricate, Oath of Druids, and Kazmina, Enigma Sage. So I'll draw four, y'all draw one. one. Uh, I'm gonna pay two for a talisman. Um, yep. Then I'll pass. Crypt trigger, odds I take damage. That's a two, I'm gravy, baby. Let's draw for turn. Ooh, that would've been great a turn ago. Humility really makes this game not fun. That's fine for me, I'm having a oh. good time. Oh. Imagine that. <laughs> Card called Humility. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of helping me a lot, to be honest. It's yeah, with a Planeswalker awesome. heavy deck. Yeah, it's awesome. You got four Planeswalkers. Bro. And half of them are on the battlefield, and the third yes. one was in your hand. I'm going to cast a Merchant Scroll. Uh, there is a Mystic Remora trigger, and I might as well pay for it, right? You need to get the Tevish off the table. You need to get the Narset. The Narset's going to die. Bro, the Tevish. Not pull my turn. The Tevish. The Tevish can't ultimate this turn. Why would he have to get rid of it right now? You're just trying to make him make a bad play. No, 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 no. The Tevish yeah. is gonna draw you two cards a turn. Oh my God, I'm gonna draw two cards. You just made us wheel our hands, bro. You put you put a target on your back. There's no target on my back. I don't know. I think everybody at the table wants to kill. If I could aim at your back, I, I would be, be I would be aiming at you. <laughs> Yeah, I would say like bouncing Tevish is a fucking stupid play. I'm just I'm, I'm just speaking up for them. Like save it for if somebody's about to win the game. Like yes. don't be don't be idiots like them. Yeah, I'll swing one at the Tevish. Okay, he'll go to eight. Hooray! Pass turn. Good job, Alan. Hell yeah. yeah. I will drop a lotus petal. <gasps> Can I draw? Pay for it. No, you gotta you gotta, ah! you gotta, you gotta he's got he's got I'll go ahead and immediately sack it for a blue. And I will play. Tezzeret, the Seeker. Can I draw? I have no, I don't have four mana, so go for it. Uh, I'm just going to pay two here uh, to cycle this Gilded Light. For now, I'm just gonna um, minus zero and go get my crypt. My crypt. And I'll be passing turn after that. Alrighty, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna swing three throws at Narset, just in case. Okay, Narset will die. <gasps> gonna plus one, Jace. You're gonna mill two cards. Let's activate Shorekind response. And I'll have no further responses. Okay, so no two. Ah, fuck. <laughs> and rest in peace. Okay. <laughs> Plus one, Tevish gonna go to nine. Sack one of these throws. Since they're both tapped, I'll just put them here. So I have two throws. Okay, Morphic Pool. I'm gonna tap three, uh, play a Proteus Staff. I draw. You can draw, yeah. Do we care about Proteus Staff? Okay, it's fact, not It's not gonna, like I'm not gonna win the game, even if I activate this, like if you think about it. Until Humility um, is off the table. Right, plus, but like, if you know anything about Polymorph decks, 
even if I have Holebreaker or out, I don't have the mana rocks yeah. to go infinite right you now. I have just a Chrome Mox, mox yeah, so it literally, it literally, I can't make infinite mana. So it's not that scary, it's just like, I'm trying to inch some value in. Yeah, I'm passing on it. Untap, first order of business, pay for the Mystical Mire. Play this Bloodstained Mire, which I'll crack. White, blue, cast a Merchant Scroll. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, that not good. Seven. I'll show you a Force of Negation pitching a Rhystic Study. I can draw? Uh, yes. Curse Guardianship. Yeah, what, what I can do is not really helpful, so I'll pass. Okay, see ya. Move to combat, swing to a cam. Pass turn. I'm netting all this card advantage, you know, just drawing card after card after card. That I get to a point um, where I feel like I have enough counter spells, and obviously it's Psychonic Rift in hand, um, that if I bounce uh, every card on the table, pass it to Alan's turn, when he casts Humility again, I can counter it, and then I believe that I have enough interaction to go back around the table to get to my turn to hopefully win the game. It's almost like Cyclonic Rift is a good card. Well, you always say it's bad because it just stalls the game. But my plan here is not to stall the game, it's to win the game. So I'm saying like, like yeah. you don't probably need to cast the Mana Crypt unless know. you're going to do something else. Can't pay. I'll cast a Pact. Nah, I just have a feeling the Polymorph's coming soon. All right, I'll have to intern there because I'm not feeding the fish. I'm being responsible adult. Tap four in total. We shall cast Urza. One artifact, so he's a one one. Yeah, pass turn. At your end step. Oh, I cast a Tainted Pact. I can draw? Yeah. Tainted Pact on the stack. I'm gonna pay one life. Cast a Brainstorm. Make a cap token. I'm good with Tainted Pact. I really don't even know what I'm getting, but. Yeah, I think we're gonna grab Mana Ball. Untap. Go to my turn. Uh, play Gemstone. Tap three. Attempt to cast party stuff. I can draw? Yeah. It's quite a ways from from letting me win the game. I'll be honest. All right, should I let Proteus Staff resolve? <laughs> I just don't know if like if Proteus Staff resolves if it fucks us. I'm not oh, gonna wait, I'm not gonna happen? win anything right now. No. Proteus Staff can resolve. I said it. Alright, Jared, you fucked up. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna tap three, activate Proteus Staff, and I'm gonna put Gavi on the bottom of your library, and you're gonna have to go through your library until you reveal a creature it's gonna enter the battlefield. Fucker! Deflecting swap. I'll deflecting swap it to your token. What? To your token. I'm casting it. You may choose new token. Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah. Fucker! <laughs> Fucker! <laughs> well, I mean, if you do it to one of theirs, they're gonna get their fucking hole breaker. That's fine. It has to be a creature. No. Put Urza on the bottom. Yeah, because I'm doing shit. <laughs> no, he's giving you a free hole breaker horror. Urza technically would go into the bottom. I'll have to go to the command zone. Damn, uh, thought I had him, boys. So I'll just start fucker! Fucker! <laughs> fucker! Yeah. That's my turn. So really, I was trying to get you here, trying to be really sneaky, you know, telling you not to counter my Proteus staff because I'm not going to win. But I had full intent to try and kill you with Proteus staff that whole time. The Kimbe Matumbo. No, honestly, um, <clears throat> it's so funny watching this game back and listening to our conversations. Like, do I need to counter this? I don't think I need to counter this. Do I need to counter this? No. Cam says, no, I'm not going to win this turn. It's fine. I'm not going to win. Thank fucking God I had deflecting spot. Yeah. Is That's the only way that I got bailed out of that situation. Right. You got lucky. All right. I will untap. I will let fish die. I will pay five for pact. I will play in the dark hard wastes. Cast an underworld breach. All right. Underworld breach will enter. Yeah. Pay a white. Cast a silence. Yeah. You're good, bro. Tap. Four. Cast the Divergent Transformation. Exile these two. Send that back to the command zone. Exile the token. Like Leveler. Such an explosive fun game. Yeah. Damn, I was really hoping you didn't have that deflective spot, bro. That would've been Fucker. fucking. That it'd have been so funny if I killed you with yeah, that, yeah, though. <laughs> there you have it. Let me tell you a real quick, real quick story. Is uh, when you brought up this idea that we were gonna play a polymorph game, I sent Cam uh, my first deck list. He said that sucked. Uh, it was a mono red deck. It probably did really suck, and hopefully I get to play on the channel one day. But then the second deck list I sent him was this one, and he also said it sucked. But I did say it would be better than the first one, and I well, still said it. honestly, it performed really well. You played a really good game of Magic. As always, though, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you share the video with your friends. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video. 
Yeah, and if you want to support us and keep the lights on, literally, they're, they're pretty bright. Um, link for Patreon is here. Well, the button for Patreon is here, and the link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Really, I don't know this y'all in danger. I'm a threat. I'm a threat. I'm a threat. Not a single one. Dude, hell yeah. That was really bad. That was really bad. <laughs> High five, Jared! <laughs>